Jill with Crick Flix, and I've been working a little bit more on trying to get these hats and corsets all done. I'm getting close. Um, right now I'm going to take a break from it and I'm going to glitter because I have mentioned before in other videos that there are folks that want to see how I glitter. So I'm going to grab another one of my, my last video too that I, um, I don't know if I've uploaded it yet. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff that I haven't have done and haven't, um, uploaded as of yet. Anyway, um, I did another package or a packet ready for a zip line scrapbook layout. I'm going to get these guys glittered up first and then I will be working on one of my scrapbook layouts. I'm doing Doc McStuffins here. The, the theme Doc McStuffins. Of course this is Lammy, not Doc McStuffins, but I'm going to do the glittering. Um, I use stickles and I've been using now these stainless steel pins that have the little round head um, because I've been having a lot of trouble with these clogging. Uh, however, I've tried other brands of stickles and, not other brands of stickles, other brands of glitters. And uh, thus far, this is still my favorite. Um, I have the Nuvos, but the drying time on it is 24 hours, and I typically don't have 24 hours. However, when I, when I can, I use them. I'm using the light pink, which is called... I took my contacts off, put my glasses on, make a pink taffeta so that I could see what I was doing and I still can't see. And that was just around her face, where's her other side, right here. Oh, she's laying over there and underneath a pile of goodies. Uh, oh, I just lost what I was going to say. Anyway, these stickle glitters I get um, uh, from scrapbookpal.com. They do have the 1.75 ounce bottles that are substantially larger. I'll show you one. They're like this. But these are not the same. So when you order them, if you order them, they're larger and they come out a lot. Not a little bit, a lot heavier. I'm going to use a little bit of this on her right underneath her skirt. Uh, they're nice for filling in large spaces, but they're not good for outlining. They're, they're way too thick. I don't order them that much. That I don't have that much use for them because they're, they come out too fast. They're, they're a lot thicker and stickier. They're okay in a pinch for certain things. But if you're ordering for the first time and you're not familiar with the stickles, I just want to fair warn you that the larger size would not be what I would go with. Now these little guys I cut out are 10 inches. Centerpiece is double sided so they're mirror image. And they do have the .05 offset on the Silhouette software. And let me get some accent essentials for the eyes. I love this stuff and I use it all the time. I'm going to do her eyes in it. Sometimes I forget, but what you really need to do when you're, when you're glittering, if you've watched a lot of my videos out there, there's a lot that I don't glitter in the order that I should and I always end up laying my head in it. You want to get everything from the top working down so you don't drop your hands in it. And I tell everybody that and then I don't do it again and again and again. This one is called Glam Pink that I'm going to use on her bow in her hair. And what I typically do is just outline them and then I, I 
color them in a little bit to kind of shade them. And speaking of which, I don't want to forget, and I don't know, someone had been writing me regarding printing on my 12 inch printer and doing magnets on my silhouette. And, oh, I can't find where I put it now to hold it up and show you, but that, <laughs> I have so many messages and so much going on in my head that I have a tendency to not keep things organized up there. Been um, having mainly issues with my mother that have really been cluttering up my mind. You sent me the the magnet material to because I told you I would cut the stuff out for the magnets for your I believe it was your granddaughter. And I can't find, it came directly from whoever you purchased it. It was shipped directly to me. So the return address, there's nothing on there with your name. And I wish, if, I pray that you're watching my video and see this and message me. And because I'll need the files that you want me to print um, on the magnet. I did get the magnet material. I did want to let you know that. I don't quite know where I set it down. I set it by my desk so that I would see it and not forget to mention it. And then I forgot to mention it. And Shannon, if you're watching, um, you had let me know what was going on that you were up at the ICU and uh, were, were talking to me about the file. I did get the file downloaded and the 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 zip the zip file I did find it and I did get all the pieces I know I have it all uh, I'm going to be doing a layout using that hopefully yet this weekend I'm I'm trying to get my new line going is and along with getting orders out the door. And so, I am busy in a cranberry merchant on Thanksgiving Day. So, anyway, why don't I, my, right now, my main thing is whoever it was that sent me the magnet, please, I, I just hope that you're watching this video, please contact me. I looked in Messenger, I looked in my email, I looked in my shop, I cannot find that conversation anywhere. I remember it. But I don't remember who it was. And I know that's really sounds really terrible. However, do not feel bad about it because I just I just kind of had a little bit of a issue with my husband because he gets so mad at me when I'm talking about the grandkids and I forget their names. You know, I'm naming two who's are, and I just have a lot going on at all times in my head. And so forgetting the grandkids' names is, I guarantee you, there's everyone out there that's my age will say, that's nothing. So uh, do not take it personal if I can't remember. Uh, when I see it, I remember it like not an issue at all. But see it so I can't do it but anyway I'm going to gl um, glitter these all this is a, a purplish pink called thistle and if anybody's ever uh, purchased it it is the worst it is and it's this color specifically and I don't know why I'm even trying to do this now I think it's, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I just hate to throw this stuff away. But that stuff is awful, awful, awful. The color, thistle, made by, by same thing. It's the uh, stickles. But it, the thistle, the color thistle will not come out. And when it comes out, it's real blobby. It's awful. Awful stuff. I am going to use a little bit of this glam pick pink glam pink my kids all started uh, my grandkids all started back to school and so um, I've got all this time and I said 
I lay in bed and I think, oh my God, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I get all wound up because I'm so excited all this time I'm going to have a do, have to do, and then I go brain dead and sit in front of my computer, and then I start playing on my computer, and then I start shopping. Very dangerous for me. I start shopping, and um, we've had dogs, three dogs, for the past 17 years, or 15 years, 17 years total, but we've now they they were all the same age and passed away one at a time. We have no dogs, which we've not had a, a pet in this house for 20, 30 years. So um, they, my dogs, I do believe, thought that when we put throw rugs down, that those were actually indoor grass that were made to use to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and. Um, and so we ended up putting in a doggy door so they could get out, and I just decided not to put any rugs down. I have hardwood floors. Thank God I don't have any carpet. But um, when it rained, they, were, they weren't going to go out in the rain. I mean, if it was raining, they were not going to go outside. So in, in that just what, far too many accidents, and I think one of the problems was is having having three dogs just I don't know I don't know but probably more than you wanted to know anyway but I was so excited now and it's not that I didn't love my pups I love my doggies but um, I also love I'm very 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 anal with my house and so they're gone and I wanted, went on to Wayfair.com oh, I got great big rugs for every room in the house. Um, they have the most beautiful rugs. Well, the last one came in today, which was from my bedroom. I think it's like eight and a half feet wide and 13 feet long. I'm not even sure. I can't remember. And it's gone under the bed. And, and, and I wanted to surprise my husband, who was at a soccer game with my brother-in-law. And uh, so I decided I was going to put the rug down by myself. Well, guys. On top of the bed, nightstands, a dresser, and everything else. Uh, the the whole trip of trying to do that uh, failed. Ter failed big time. So I had to wait for my husband to get home to lift the bed, so I could straighten it out. I unrolled it under the bed, um, but my last rug. I have one in my office now too. And again, I just, I haven't been able to have rugs down for years because I washed them. What we had, I, I had dozens of throw rugs that every single night I had to pick up. They were in front of a door for guests. And every night I had to pick them up or roll them back so that it was a sign to the dogs, don't go on the rug. And they never did as long as the rug was rolled up. And they had the doggy door and never had an issue, but man, you had to make sure every single night I had to go around the house and roll up any rugs that were in front of the doors. Don't have to do that anymore. I'm trying to look at the bright side and talking myself into no matter how weak I get, I've got to keep reminding myself I cannot get another dog. Because I'm planning some, my husband and I were talking about, we're going to start doing some improv trips. I'm gonna, we're going to go out to Vegas. Neither one of us has ever been there. Um, we're going to go down. I'm waiting to hear from my niece when her, when my sister-in-law and brother-in-law, her parents, come down to visit. And my husband and I are going to go down and visit with all these lands. I'm so excited. These are called the golden years for a reason, and I'm enjoying every minute of them. You guys, I'm going to make sure this, this sounds like it's stopped. It did not stop, however, I just made sure, and, okay, come here, little one, throw her over here, to dry, and, what else was I going to say, I didn't know, I don't know, didn't know, 
anyway, I my, my, told my husband when he got home, he'd been at soccer all day, and I told him that um, my mother had tried to call, but when she got me on the phone, she kept hanging up, and I tried to call her back numerous times, and she didn't answer the phone. Oh, I'm having such a hard time with over, just overwhelmed with guilt if I don't go up there and sit every day. I feel like I need to go up and sit every single day at her apartment just to be there. Although the whole purpose was putting for her in assisted living was so she would make friends that would have common interests and, and reminisce about the, the years, the, the, the depression, the war. She loves to talk about the depression and the war when she was a kid. And I think a lot of people like to talk about that at this, at this age. So, um, I really want to stay away so she makes friends. I don't want her relying on me. But I get so guilty. I feel so bad. I talked to my husband tonight and I'm saying, like, why do I feel so bad? But I do. And Carol, you said your mom is in assisted living now and 300 miles away. And um, I hope that you don't find it awful where I'm coming from on this because my mother's seven minutes away from me and I can go see her every single day, but I don't. I, I just can't. Um, the other day I went and, and she was mad, mad at me and wouldn't go with me and, and um, her dementia is just really, really hard. She doesn't, we can't carry on a conversation because she can't finish a sentence and she can't finish a thought and her paranoia is everything, every time she looks at me, I'm a person that talks with my hands. If my hands aren't busy doing something like this, the reason that my hands aren't flying every which way is because I'm doing something with them. If I'm not doing something with them, I, they're all over the place. Every time I move my hand, my mother wants to know what that sign just meant. I have to have my mouth this, I just took my meds and my mouth, is, my mouth is starting to kill me. Um, when we're sitting in the car, I was doing something, I don't know what, my hand moved and she, my mother's just like, okay, what, what was that? What did that mean? Like, oh man, I don't know how to handle it. I just don't. I told them I, I really need to find a counselor to help me deal with this or read that book, or get the, the audio book that you recommended, Shannon. I haven't done it yet. It seems like I have just so much to do, but I need to because I need to understand what what's going on and what I should anticipate going on over the next however long. Very, very, very hard because it's hard like her, what she's like my mother says to me, her problem with this is she doesn't know what's real. She knows she has this paranoia and dementia and she knows that a lot of the stuff is not real, but she cannot figure out what's not real. And she's living in a nightmare. And I don't care, I, I, to me, nobody deserves to live like that. It's awful, 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 awful. And, and if they're medicating her to sleep all day, it's like, really? Um, can you imagine living like that? And like I said, going up there to talk to her um, is really difficult because she, she doesn't talk. She can't finish a sentence. And, and if I'm not trying to say something, she doesn't say anything. She doesn't talk. She just sits there. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, guys. It is. Things happen for a reason. And the fact that I had her move in when I did and then lost my brother three months later. And he was the one that took care of everything. And he was the one with all the answers. Everything happens for a reason. I keep telling myself. Her moving in with us at that time is a good thing she was living here. But 
I can't pick up the phone and just call him and ask him for guidance. And it just, oh, it's so hard for me. I'm whining, guys. I'm whining. Okay, I'm going to stop whining. I am, I am, I am. Oh, let me do this. Oh, she's so cute. The little uh, hippo. I do love to glitter, folks. It is really fun for me. The corsets and, and um, hats that I did with all the flower and all the glittering. Oh, I'm having so much fun doing those. I can't wait to work on the next one. However, the next packet I put together is actually going to be Beauty and the Beast. I'm killing two birds with one stone with this the, the work that I'm doing for the new shop because when I'm doing the scrapbooking, I'm getting my kids all caught up with my, with my packets. Um, I'm getting my kids scrapbooks, which reminds me when I was moving everything out from underneath the bed, with the rug under there, I have boxes. I have boxes under every bed. I have lifts on them. They're a tall lift, so my bed, you have to have a ladder to get in them. Um, I pulled all the stuff out to, to put the bed, uh, or put the rug under there, and I didn't realize I had two pack and plays. And I kind of remember telling my daughter-in-law, because I take care of Veda, who is five months old, and then my other daughter is due in January, first week of January, with another little girl, and I'll be taking care of her full time. I've been taking care of my oldest daughter's kids since they were born. And this is her fourth one. Um, but right now, all of them are in school. So I won't have the baby until um, probably spring. But. I thought I was going to have to go out and get pack and plays, and I'm sitting there thinking, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm too old to be going out and buying pack and plays. But I found them under the bed. So I can tell my kids. I got to tell my kids they shouldn't have expected me to buy the pack and play anyway, that they're kids. Now that sounded mean. But I say it, but I don't do it. Whatever they need. My. My little Isabel, who's my terror, terror on wheels, uh, last week learned to ride a two-wheeler, and she was quite proud of herself. And she started soccer today. And the coach wanted to know when the game was over how long she'd been playing, because she's just, she loved it. She's super aggressive. And uh, she's built like a tank anyway. And they said she... They couldn't believe that she that was her first year, and she loved it. So maybe that's going to be her niche. Kendall's in gymnastics, and that's her her big sport. And Kennedy, who is t 13, is um, plays basketball. And once school starts, she's got basketball every night. Not every night, but she's got practice. And Brady plays baseball. And I can't think of the other sport that he pay, plays. And Wyatt is in Shizutsu, I don't know how you pronounce it, some sort of thing that he's in when he's with his father. And he's in ballet. No, jazz. J jazz, I think it is. These kids are in, in, into more stuff. But I said, now, in my golden years, I've got, I told my husband, I said, get me all their schedules so I can pencil in what I can go to and what I can't. And I'm going to start enjoying watching my grandkids and their sports. Not all of them, because there's too many, and they do too much. Too, 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 too much for me. Okay, guys, this is probably a video that you would put in bank of too much. Too long. But I was trying to get everybody caught up on what is going on in the life of Crick Flex and Jill. Life is good. I don't know if I told everybody I got my new car, which I absolutely love, love, love. I had a remote starter installed last week. 
And so I said, this winter I'm going to be so spoiled. I'll be able to warm my car up before I leave. Although I never go anywhere. Um, the fact that I can warm my car up, maybe I'll go out more. And I don't have to have a key. It's a keyless en entry and it's got a push button to start. I told my husband, I said, I want everything and I want to make sure it's undercoated and chip the wrapped or whatever, the, the outdoor, outside of it to avoid chips and things because I said, most likely this will be my last car. I don't drive more than 500 miles a month. So it would be maybe six thousand dollars or six thousand miles a year. So this will probably be my last car because I'll be driving less as I get older. And guys, should I shut this off? Are you are you tired of me talking, Brandy? You're probably just saying, hey, "Why don't you do a scrapbook page?" I can hear you. I can hear you, and I can feel your vibes. You're thinking scrapbook page, scrapbook page, but. I will be doing those as soon as I get my act together and get my this is this has to get done today so the scrapbook pages I am piling up I have ready to go and once I get working on them it'll be hopefully a very quick process I get you know I didn't go to her skirt so I'm gonna have to wait for it to dry because I'm gonna do the purple now I gotta get something done and what I'm going to do is, I'm. these are going to be centerpieces. I'm not going to be putting them together tonight because they've got to dry. And I will finish glittering them and let you guys take a break. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.